Oh, thank you, Linda. Thank you, thank you. Hey, Sheila, I think I owe you a phone call, Sheila. Maybe you're a different Sheila, but I think I do. And I've got, I had a bunch of stuff that I um, lined up to hit first thing this morning. And, you know, as usual, I'm sure none of you have ever experienced having a list that you're going to try to get to today. And that list just keeps on moving to the next page, the next page, the next page. <laughs> so I feel like mine's been lately. So I'll, um, so anyway, but that's, that's all right. All right, let me, I wanted to start, well, first of all, if any of y'all have any questions specifically for today, if you'll put them in the Q&A so that we don't miss them. And then if you, uh, if you want to, of course, post here where everybody can answer them. Um, Stevie is asking um, about who the guy is that was the founder or did the happy juice, the feel free. And his name is J.W. Ross, R-O-S-S. -S. Um, and um, he has been, um, yep, Tammy's got it, J.W. Ross. There's a couple of really interesting, um, you know, a podcast that he does. Um, oh, you saw him in TikTok. I haven't ever, I haven't looked at, for him on TikTok. I haven't seen, but uh, he's pretty well, he's pretty, it's it's pretty interesting, um, you know, his, his his story and then everything that he has done to, um, you know, try to make sure that the feel free is, um, you know, goes through, it goes through all kinds of testing and it goes through all kinds of really strict, um, whatever the, H, the the food administration and all that. It's really, it's really, um, you know, he does, he does a lot to protect, to protect it and to make sure that he's, he's sending out a good product. So, um, so yeah, he's the, he is the, he developed the, he developed, they call it a tincture, which I think is a cute word, the tincture um, of it. And uh, by, you know, testing and testing and testing different, you know, different formulations, but he's the one that is behind it and, and finally came up with the right thing. And he was previously an alcoholic. And um, so anyway, it's a, it's a neat story and it's a good, you know, it's a, it's, it's a, it's a lot, it's helped a lot of people. And just like, anything out there it's also you know people can um abuse it and get um addicted and you know it's it's you know everything is life is all about moderation really right at the end of the day it's really all about moderation so do we have anybody that's new here today brand new still in fast track um i wanted to sort of cover one of the um one of the uh downloads in the fast track program is a fastest weight loss combination rules and then there's a food list on the back of that and i um particularly when i was doing the program the first time i actually i bet i have it over here i color coded the um i color coded all of the yeah but it's right here I, I did a color coded chart and it really helped me and my brain to start to put everything together in the way that I understood it in a way that I could process it. And so I was very, um, you know, when we were doing it back then, you had no choice but to um, you had no choice but to write everything down. There wasn't a we didn't have a you know, he didn't have it all online. So literally it was just one hour per week for seven weeks um and we would go and there was a whiteboard or there was a paper you know a, a easel that was up there and you took you took notes you didn't learn about all the other foods you could have until you learned you know what you had to know we learned our abc's first and we learned like a through e first and then we went on to learn the rest as you you know as you mastered that first part so writing all that stuff down i think was really beneficial and and i think some of that's been lost in the online technical world where we really wanted to move it all move everything we could online so that people can really learn that way and sort of self-propel and do but we all you know you no know, i don't i you know i'm i forget how beneficial it is to take notes and to process it that way i think i've talked before about being able to journal just really helps you to see what you're you know once you've actually processed that and spit it back out, you're, 
your attitude about it changes. You can think differently about stuff. It's as beneficial as talking to a friend because sometimes, um, you know, I, I know um, with my sister and I, particularly, we were estranged for many, many years. She, she was not part of the family for many years. She um, isolated herself. Once she started to talk to me and really open up to me about some things that she was dealing with, you know, she would let it all out. And then she would say, oh, well, that's, you know what? I think I don't think I need to actually take action on that. I feel good about having gotten all that out and she could move on. And I think that, um, you know, journaling and writing that stuff down, there's really something about being able to have that that person, that paper even really, really helps to write it down. It helps you remember the things that, you know, have, have been pain points and, and have been good times. Um, but being able to have that that opportunity to get all that out, it's it's super helpful to help you process. And and maybe your decision, what you were going to do 10 minutes ago, isn't the same thing as you're, you know, now you're, you've been able to get that out. They call that Come here, Aggie. for some girls. Hey, Tammy. Oh, did I miss something? Was that me? I'm sorry. <laughs> I've got um, pest control people trying to get here and I'm like, trying to answer questions. So I was trying to get my dogs put up. So the whole world just heard all that. And I do apologize because I'm never unmuted. <laughs> That's, okay. That's okay. The life of a shibboleth in the background. <laughs> right, 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 right. You got your background. I got stuff going on here too. So, but I'll, I'll get started. But this was, um, actually, I probably need to take this off if so that y'all can see. I'll unblur it for a second. I just, my, my office right now is just so well, I've just thrown stuff in here, so I keep my, I keep my, um, I keep my background blurred. See, nothing special. But this chart, and I don't know if it's coming to you, you know, coming to you the right way. But this was, um, and it was even like Roman numerals. They did a lot in Roman numerals then too. But I color coded it, and I put colors on things that I could have together, and. Um, you know, the things that I couldn't eat with anything else. I made sure to, um, you know, note that a little cheat sheet. It was very helpful. I only needed a few things in each category because I knew, um, you know, well, if spinach works as a fibrous carb, then, and he said anything, you know, for green leafy vegetables, it was easy to use this and then go um, just hang it on my fridge. Um, so, and there's only one bread on here double fiber wheat bread. That was the only one we had back then. So that was my color coded chart. So I took that and I developed and I started to think about, um, you know, we all learn differently. So I did a, another one and I put it in this um, in this chart. And if you haven't actually, I'll just share my screen and show you. But this chart here is somewhat color coded. And then I put rules and the fastest combination rules on the back of this. So my thought was that if anybody has a, um, you know, somebody, that, if they just need to get started quickly and they don't really know what to do, then this would be a great, um, I thought, because it helped me, there's so many other other different downloads and handouts and events, combination charts and all kinds of things. And I felt like maybe that might be a good way for people to start to put it together quickly um, because there is a very, you know, we've got, all of the fast track lessons and we've got these particular you know points that you have to you have to make sure you don't miss the, the bulletproof shield the shibola shield so you've got all of these things um you know in videos and in but i thought okay i'm gonna i'm gonna kind of condense it as much as i can and then put it in something that maybe people can just print off carry with them or, or whatever and start very very quickly so this particular um this particular sheet, it basically is, it's got your color coded stuff on one side. So you've got your green and your, um, you know, your green items. You've got a black block, block, block here, the blue block, the category four red block, the black zero calorie cooking oils. So my intention was to show very quickly which things you could eat together um, and which that you couldn't by using this rule. Foods in the green box can be eaten alone for a meal. So when I come back over here and I go, oh, okay, well I can have, um, you know, I can have low fat cottage cheese for breakfast and have that alone as a meal. Okay, good. 
If I know that, do I want a condom in it? Okay, where's my condiments at? Have with any meal, must have a total of 50 calories or less. Okay, then I could maybe put a little spoonful of sugar-free jelly in there because that's maybe got 30 calories in it. And that could be my breakfast. Um, so I thought this might be a good way to give a quick look at, you know, at the foods and what you can put with what. My next rule, I could also, by the way, have, um, I could have peanut butter. Now, one thing I'm noticing right now, well, I do talk about portions actually on the other side. So, um, I could have natural peanut butter. I could have a couple of tablespoons of that. I could have a whole plate of, you know, a whole portion control plate of black beans if I wanted to by itself. So here's my other, you know, these things I could have by itself if I want to. And then my other, my next rule is that foods in red must be paired with a category two. So I, hey babe. So I, um, come back over here to my chart and I've got a red category four. Now, so in order to have these as a beginner, I think it's, I thought it was still important to, because eventually you can have this by itself. But in the beginning, this is a fatty protein. So if I'm going to have a pork chop, ribs, chicken wings, then I must have it with a category two. So I see this and I go, okay, then, then here's my category two options. Well. If I'm having um, a pork chop tonight, then I want to make sure that I have anything on this list. So, and this is a short list. So I've got a pork chop and I might have something like green beans or Brussels sprouts or better not squash, or I could even put my pork chop on a sandwich and have it as with my bread. And then I still have my condiment option. So I've got, I can put a condiment with that. I can put ketchup with it. I can use my dry seasonings. I can cook it in any of these options. I feel like this is a good way to give people some options, but I don't know if it's, you know, I, I want to make sure that it's beneficial to, that it, it, it makes sense, that it's understandable. Foods in the blue box can be eaten with any combination. What's our blue box? Our category twos, our freebies. Freebies are the, first, you know, obviously the veggies. And then um, the breads are not freebies, but they are still a category two and they can be had with anything else on this chart. Um, you've got your last one of foods in black can also be used with any meal. And that just covered your cooking oils and your condiments. So I don't know. I think that if we, you know, even if you have this and you've got people who are interested in the program, you don't really sure what to tell them or how to tell them to start. You know, Travis and I both are kind of like, well, we're so deep into it. Where do we you know? How do you without um, tell them just come to class? And I feel like even maybe something like this could help somebody to see the options, see how to start putting stuff together. We talk a little bit about um, the variety here. We're not going to talk about threes and fives yet because um, it is, uh, it's not, uh, they don't need it yet. We need to know we can have it eventually, but not yet. We're not going to do it yet. So um, we talk about the benefits of water. We talk about how to portion these items. We talk about how to a rule about eating out um, and I don't know about y'all, but we've got a whole restaurant database, but it's, I mean, this is the rule, this, is, you know, this is the rule. So it applies anywhere you go. So, um, then you've got the journal information. So anyway, this is my little cheat sheet that, um, that I came up with and hope it's helpful. If I am always looking for, oh, you know what, let me, um, let me actually show you where to find that. If I've got, I've got a thousand tabs open up here. Let me see if I can find that one because <laughs> I had it all. Here it is. Okay. When you're um, in your video library or in your fast track um, dashboard as well, you could find it there. But um, in your video library, um, mine has got a lot of stuff in it because I've got a lot of, a lot of, um, I'm, you know, I use all of this as testing grounds too. So, um, but you are going to scroll if you're not through fast track, then fast track should be one of your first options at the top. Mine is moved down because I am past fast track. But with each um, with each level that has resources, you're going to see this orange resources tab over here. So I'm not sharing my screen anymore, am I? I think I stopped that. Are y'all seeing my screen? I'm gonna. I'll stop. I'll stop doing that because I don't think you can see my screen anymore. But um, but in your dashboard, uh, sorry about that. Sorry, I was going through all of that and you can't even see. Let me do that real quick. 
That was silly of me. All right, here we go. So I'm in the video library. So sorry about that. Um, you can scroll to the fast track section. Um, you can actually um, filter up here. I'm doing this and I'm praying that it works right. <laughs> so I went right to fast track. Okay, so this is my fast track curriculum. And I see immediately that I want to add the um, resources here because they're not right here. So that was so that did tell me something that I needed to know. I believe, though, if you click on any video, it's going to pull up your um, let me see. See, uh, this Travis, I, I feel your pain, babe, because that should be right here. All of the resources should be with every video. And I believe that once you're, yeah, so I'm gonna have to find out why these weren't there to start with. So I'm so sorry about that. I'm gonna write that down. But um, in the fast track section, your, um, sorry, that's just gonna have to ring for a second. You're, you'll see these different um, handouts that you can download and you've got your welcome packet. And this is called the phase one fastest combination chart and rules. So, um, and this is also gonna be um, in your uh, dashboard. So if you're in your uh, fast track dashboard and you go to the, um, your lap one has got the fastest combination chart and rules right here. And that's gonna take you right to it. So it's downloadable, printable for everybody. So um, if you're in, you know, if you've got somebody that's interested and maybe you can walk them through at least this part and then that can help them kind of get an idea of you know what we want to teach them and um, but anyway that's a good resource and there's tons i mean there's tons of other uh, downloadable things in the fast track system you can print the book you can um print the combination chart and just be careful and yeah because if you print you print all of this but we we want to just take it step by step so don't get overwhelmed and 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 print everything and then not know where to start you know we really want to make sure that you um you know that you don't get overwhelmed it's a lot of information but it's like learning your abcs i really think it's something that is it can be learned very simply and um and very easily if we'll just take it step by step so i'm gonna get out of uh quit talking now so that my hubby can talk but i um i wanted to just kind of show you all that and see and get your thoughts you know it's really appreciate when people can say you know i had somebody messages last night and said you know, you guys aren't even given any information with the free program. You say it's free, but you're not you're not given anything for free. And I was like, well, what do you, you know? Tell me, please tell me what we need to do. And you know, she, she gave me some good information. So I appreciate that, and and um, appreciate y'all helping us to kind of make it better and help people to learn it better. Because with um, yeah. So there was one more thing that oh yeah, and I'm gonna write that down to help to fix that thing about the resources. But anyway, hopefully that helps somebody today. And I'm gonna just, I'm gonna be here, but I'm just gonna mute myself. All right, hello everybody. Any questions? Fast track, behavior modification, nutrition, personalization of your program. How may we assist? Sasha, so somebody said that you weren't giving enough away in the free program, you have to catch me up. Um. Yeah, there was a. So the video instruction wasn't enough, right? You know, pe people just want to have. The live classes are not enough. The video instruction are not enough. The meal plans are not enough. Is that correct? Is that what I'm hearing? The recipes was one area that she specifically wanted to um to get and i'm not really sure um yeah it's 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 a, it's a strange i'm not really sure exactly i want to make sure because um there was a but but basically she was saying if you know if you say it's there it was a little bit of not very reasonable there if you say it's free then it should be free and all should be free but i have to you know but then i got that you know she's interested in recipes and I don't know what she does, but she wanted to, us to be more willing to give away more recipes. So I think it was a little bit of unreasonableness there, but I also feel like there was some value hearing her input for sure, so. Good, I'm glad. I hope she does well. How's everybody doing? 
Fantastic. I'm glad. Hello, Lynn. Hello, everybody. What a great day. A new start, a fresh start happening on a Thursday. So, do y'all want updates or do you want me to be sweetie pie? You want updates or you want me to be sweetie pie? <laughs> okay. Do you want the truth? Well, Shibboleth is going to be no longer Shibboleth. Welcome to the new company. <laughs> Welcome to the new company. <laughs> yep. We're still doing what we've always done. We're going to do it. Take, we're going to take one day at a time, one day at a time. People want recipes. They want to be talked into it daily. They want instant response to email, instant response to text. They want to send pictures of their poop. They want to talk about their constipation issues. They want to talk about why it ain't fair. They want to talk about the hardships. They want to talk about the struggle bus. They want to talk about what you're doing wrong, you're trying to help them. They don't want to talk about Jesus. They don't want to talk about losing weight and them having the power to lose the weight. You know that he who is within us is greater than he that's in the world. You know that stuff? They don't want to talk about that. When we're going to get on with it, Travis? I paid for these courses, and I expect you to do what I tell you to do. I want you to play your music for me. I want you to be my dancing monkey. It all stops today. I am done being a dancing monkey. We have tried that over and over and over again. So I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go get a job like how I, when I started this thing. If you hadn't seen my video, that's why I'm talking about this this morning. I'm going to go get a job, and I'm going to provide for my family. And God called me to be a minister. And just like I was a minister working a job 20 years ago, I'm going to use wellness as a platform, personal development as a platform to minister. But I ain't taking no crap no more. I'm done. I've worked myself to death. My wife has worked herself to death and got nothing but a million dollars of debt and a lot of people complaining. Notice that I said people. I did not say persons. I didn't say persons. I said people. And once again, we woke up this morning to nothing but mess and problems and all that stuff. And, uh, you know, Travis, you ought not say this. You ought not say that. You're right. I ought not say a lot of things I've said, but I'm going, I'm going to do this moving forward. I'm going to run off people that are not self-starters, that just want something for nothing. Not that I don't want them to change. Not that I don't want them to change. Not that I don't want to help. But we're going to quit patronizing that type of behavior because I won't have to anymore. Sasha's lost everything that she's got. She's fought a good fight. She's going to have to start life over. I watched her cry all morning. She's done all that she could do to make this thing work, to finance it, to provide everything that everybody's wanted. And this is not a gripe session. I'm just telling you, this is actually a good day. It's going to be a, a really rough and tough couple of months for us as we figure out where we land. We've wondered for months, if we can't hold this together, what's everybody going to think about us? Jenny Craig just went out of business, y'all. Jenny Craig just went out of business. Weight Watchers is afraid they're going out of business if they don't start selling 
pharmaceutical drugs. 12 people come in our center because of our sign and left because we don't sell drugs. And all day, every day, people, not persons, we've got some good persons, people whine and complain. You can't never do enough for them. It's a mentality that's straight out of hell. I have missed preaching the gospel. I have missed uh, telling people what God has put on my heart to tell them. That God loves you. That you've got the power inside of you to change. Don't nobody love you enough but you and God to talk you into trying to lose weight every single day if all you're going to do is come up with excuses. So we're going to figure out how we feed ourselves without Shibboleth feeding us. We don't know what that looks like. So that when I come live, I can preach from the bottom of my heart about weight loss and wellness without giving a darn whether somebody comes or goes over it. Worrying to death over offending somebody so easily offended that they're going to ask for their money back and we can't meet our payroll. It's absolutely asinine what's going on in our culture. Pills, potions, and shots, and artificial intelligence. This has everything to do with weight loss. We live in a time when the number one model, y'all think, oh, he's losing the faith and whatnot. Some do, not all. Let me say something to you. Your time's coming too. If you don't repent and get your heart right, your time's coming too. See, we've just got a little weight loss program that's being replaced by pills, potions, and shots. But there's other things going to be replaced too. Did you know the number one model in the world is not even real? She's artificially intelligent. She's not real. Did you know men, folks, is marrying artificial intelligence in Europe and it's headed this way? And you don't think there's a cause for what we all do here, preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ as a solution for all of the problems that one has and their unhappiness? Do you think for a minute that a shot that cost $1,000 with side effects, even if it worked, because it doesn't require any self-discipline, do you think it's going to fill that hole in your heart? Do you think it's going to make you happier? Do you think you're going to be able to look in the mirror and be proud of yourself? You think about it. I'm not knocking anybody. I almost signed a contract last week to be a spokesperson for a dang shot, just so I could pay my bills and not let anybody down. We got tens of thousands of people. I could have stood beside a doctor and said, we, gonna, we are all about the shots along with nutrition and exercise. I could have done that. Lynn's here. Do I have the ability, Lynn? Lynn's here. Lynn, do I have the ability to persuade people to take something that I believe in? Ask Lynn. But I don't believe in that. In one month, they projected that we would make over $100,000 of pure profit off the shot. And my flesh said, do it. And here's how the flesh justifies and rationalizes things. Well, I don't want to let everybody down, and I've got to find a way to finance what we're doing. We need a home. We need transportation. And after all, they'll need exercise, and they'll need a good nutritional program along with the shot. So even if the shot gives them some extra courage and it gives them a placebo effect or whatever, I started rationalizing. 
And it made a lot of sense. If you was in my shoes, ask yourself, would you do it? Your wife owes $1 million, has been crying, afraid of going bankrupt. Would you do it? Ask yourself. Because I almost did it. And I'm not ashamed that I almost did it. But at the end of the day, a hundred years from now, I'm not going to be here. And I'd rather go through a couple of months of hardship and keep my soul than do something like that and let people say what they will say about me. We're not going to do it. I'm going to tell you what we're going to do. We're going to preach the gospel harder than we've ever preached it before. I'm going to preach on that whiteboard harder than I've ever taught or preached before with the time that I have when I'm not working and making a living. And I'm going to teach the basics. Give me something new. Give me something new. Give me something new. If you want something new, you'll laugh if you want to, but you'll have to become a partner. And I'm going to do plenty of faithfully fit stuff. God inspired us to do that recently, faithfully fit. I'm going to get rid of all the junk that I can't keep up with anymore. I can't keep up with all this stuff that we're trying to do to please so many people. We're going to do two things. Every Monday, we're going to start a new group. And I'm going to carry them through Fast Track. And I'm going to support them. And at the end of that week, they can earn their Fast Track badge or they cannot. Every Monday, people will go to the group challenge tab and they will sign up for the next week of Fast Track. And it will be free. And people that's got a soul and got a pulse, they or I won't ask for it. I'm done begging. They should support the ministry. They should support it. If they don't, I'm not Joel Osteen and I'm not Kenneth Copeland. I can't stand that kind of stuff. But if you want it to continue, you have to support it. But whether it's supported or not, I'm going to look for a job and ask God to give me a job whereby at least one session a day, I can teach fast track to a new group or a group that wants to restart or a group that wants to go through it and celebrate together at the end of the week like I used to do on my whiteboard. And when people ask for something new, I'm going to say, you have to go through the journey and you got to pay for that so that I can pay my web developer. And that's what we're going to do. And we're not going to do all this crazy stuff all the time to keep people interested in saving their own darn life. What works, works. And what works is what I started teaching 20 years ago on a whiteboard, peanut butter and green beans. Now we're very thankful that we've got a website that's amazing. We didn't have this 20 years ago where people can self-start. They can go through the material, the deep dive stuff, the journey, the tiger's eye. They can go through that stuff and be blessed. You have to have a willing and wanting heart, a desire, a pulse to change. So really what we're going to do is we're just going to go back to the basics. As long as God will allow that, what God is teaching Sasha and I, man's best laid plans come to naught without him. I'm going to do things that excite me, like the wellness company. That excites me. It's helpful to people. I believe in it. 
And I'm going to quit begging people to do that. I literally spend hours explaining why someone should take literally hours, why someone needs nutrients to help them lose weight and to be healthy and well and needs good nutrition, hours explaining why it costs a couple of dollars a day to take care of yourself, $3 a day to take care of yourself. And then them same people will insult me and spit in my face and go pay for a $1,000 shot while they told me, tell me that they can't afford that. It's absolutely absurd. It's not going to work. I'm not talking to persons here. I'm talking to people. Your shots aren't going to work. You're going to end up with a hole in your heart the size of Texas that only God can fill. And we're not going to be able to keep everybody within the sound of my voice. It's not going to happen. It's going to make people mad. But I'm going to have to, I'm going to, have to change. I have never allowed. I'm going to quit explaining myself. Yay is going to be yay and nay is going to be nay. But I am so sick of patronizing people and loving them more than they love themselves and talking about their shots and talking about the lack of funds while they buy in the shot and talking about they don't have any support while they sit here talking to my face. I've sacrificed my time, my life, and watched my family do that, and somebody going to look me in my face I have no support. Done. Let me tell you what's probably going to happen. I don't know this will happen. Things may get worse. I don't know. God is God, and beside God, there's no other. But what may just happen, because I'm feeling a little liberty, is I may end up surrounding myself with self-starters and happy people instead of a bunch of people that just want to sit on the pity potty. Hurting people hurt people. They mad at the world. And they let it show and they mad at you. And they just looking for somebody like me and looking for somebody like Sasha that will sit there and take it so we can be a punching bag and we don't have to do it anymore. And we're not going to do it. We want, we genuinely want to help people that want to be helped and that want to live for Jesus. Not our doctrine not somebody else's doctrine, but you working out your own salvation with fear and trembling and doing your best. So get ready because I'm not going to mean to hurt you. I'm not going to mean to hurt you. But when you start that pity potty stuff, I'm going to say, I can't help you. Go take the shot. And I'm going to say it in front of everybody. You know what the apostle Paul said? The apostle Paul said, Tell them like it is in front of everybody so that the rest of the people may fear. How many of you know I'm telling the truth right now? We all need a little more fear of the Lord. I'm talking about me. I woke up this morning in fear of the Lord. What we need is a little more fear of the Lord. That's what we need. A little more respect for the Lord and his temple. Taking care of this thing. This has gotten out of hand. And I have contributed to it greatly by babying people that have the power to change, that do not want to change. If you don't want to change, go on and eat yourself to death until you pop. I've wasted 20 years that I can't get back. I ought to watch people go for shots and spend thousands of dollars so they ain't got to get up off their ice and do nothing. And yeah, I'm a preacher, and yes, I say ass. If you don't like that, when I feel unction to say ass, then go somewhere else. This ain't a kid's class. This is a grown, this is a grown but adult program. This is an adult program. You let your kids watch Yellowstone, and I say, get up off your ass, and you go, I can't believe you said that. What kind of Christian are you? Some of us need a kick in the ass is what we need. You can't eat, you can't be enslaved by something, enslaved by addiction, and blame everybody else for it. What we need is some good old fashioned repentance 
and then to learn a few things and take some action, our faith without works is dead. I've watched it happen. I've watched it happen here, and I don't. I blame myself. God helped me to change. God helped me to put on some man pants. I have a very soft and gentle heart, but God helped me to put it to the side and put on my man pants. What people's needing is a man. Sorry, you do not like it if you want to, but what a lot of people need is men to be men again. Now, I've got a team and I've got a staff that are listening and probably worried and concerned. I'm not one of those businesses that try to hide things. I've been, as my team knows, I've been scolded and even scolded by some of them. You shouldn't say that stuff out loud. Well, that's not biblical. Jesus said we should be transparent. We should tell it all, let people know where we are so that they'll believe the things that we say. And I don't know what's going to happen to my team. I love every one of them. And if they don't know it, they're crazy. If they don't know how much I love them, they're crazy. And I don't know what's going to happen. But I'm going to rewrite the program and redesign the program immediately so that I don't need anybody to take care of anybody except for myself and my wife and my web developer. And then we'll look at it and see if there's any extra so that we can have some support people. They've been good to me. Sasha and I have went into a million dollars of debt because we know how much your support people that you love mean to you. We have cried our last tear. The last time we cried tears was when we had to tell Kim Danky we could not afford her anymore. We had to tell Jason Whitener we couldn't afford him anymore. Today, I am ripping off the Band-Aid. I'm going to do what I can do, and if that's not good enough, I am sorry. If you feel that you didn't get your money's worth, then I am sorry. Go pay for the shot. I'm going to love you, and sometimes that love is going to be tough. I'm going to celebrate with you. I'm going to ask for your support. If I give you value, I'm going to ask for you to give me value back. I've not done that enough, and y'all know it. And if you don't know that, then you haven't tried to do our program. And each and every week, beginning on Monday, we are going to start a new Fast Track group you have my word as long as God don't say, Travis, you're out of here. And my wife is going to support you. And we will be live to answer your questions during the shifts that we are doing this. And we will give you our best, if not more than we've ever given you before. But come Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, your questions will have to wait. We will be back Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and we will work well into the evening, making sure everybody has everything that they need to the best of our ability. And then on the weekend, we're going to take a break and get ready for the next week's group. That's what we're going to do. We will not be able to continue this 24-7 answering emails that are angry with us until 1 o'clock in the morning and then getting up at 4 a.m. and doing it again. Can't do it. People will have to be self-starters. I know I'm sounding bitter, but I'm not. I'm trying to fight back tears. I'm trying to fight back a feeling of letting everybody down. But this is just how it's going to have to be. We've been talking about it for a year. If things keep doing like this and people keep opting for noon stuff and shots and pills and potions, this is what we'll have to do. So we're going to go on and pull that plan out and we are going to implement it and put it in place. We're going to do fast track. We're going to do journey. We're going to do tiger's eye. We're going to do faithfully fit and we're going to do the wellness company. We're going to do it to the best of our ability. That's what we're going to do. And when people whine and complain, we're going to say, go take the shot because fast track is going to be free 
so that nobody has ridiculous expectations of us for what are people paying now? $97, pay once, never pay again. Ridiculous expectations. And we're just, we cannot do it. Maybe y'all don't support us and there's no need to carry Shibboleth on forward. And uh, that'll hurt, but I'll live with it. God is God, and beside God's no other. God says, live and you live, die and you die. And maybe God will take us and speak life over us, and we will live, and that will be a testimony to everybody. We will praise him for it. Or maybe God says, they put too much confidence in Travis and Sasha, and I'm going to speak death over them so that they will take their confidence out of them and put it in me. Then I will embrace that too. That's what we're going to do. I love the Lord Jesus Christ. And I'm going to talk about Jesus. Facebook has shadow banned us. If you want to know about our meetings, I don't know when our text messaging thing is going to be gone. You'll have to show up. You'll have to go to the website. You know where I'm at. You know, do y'all all know where I'm at? If I run out of the ability to send you text, that stuff costs 2000 a month. Y'all didn't know that but it costs 2000 a month to send them text to remind you to come to class. So if that, if that stops, we hadn't went out of business. We are at www.myshibboleth.com. www.myshibboleth.com. Any questions, y'all? I'm relieved, ain't y'all? I was exhausted. Sometimes you just need to be knocked out and referee to say, it's over. You can quit fighting, son. It's over. Let's put you on the stool in the corner. <laughs> and we got about two months for y'all all think, oh, Travis is going to be free to do other stuff now. I got about two months of hard living at least. So y'all have to bear with us. You still have to deal with the aftermath, yay? Any questions about nutrition? Let's talk about that before y'all go. I have ranted long enough, and I'm really not mad. If you really know me, you know that I'm putting on a little bit of a show because I feel like I've let everybody down. But I know in my heart I've done my best, and I know Sasha's done her best. We have spent and been spent for the gospel of Jesus Christ in our own weak way. And we're very proud of that. We're proud of y'all, proud of the success, proud of your support. We hope and pray that our partners will continue to support us. And we're going to spend most of our time actually with our partners. We've been kind of hinting at that for a while because our partners are the ones that value what we're doing and are for the most part self-starters. If you don't want to be a self-starter, there are uh, programs for that. Do y'all agree? These good programs called Shots, Noom, you can go do that. <clears throat> Deborah, in influencers can still influence. I uh, hope you will. And uh, we'll pay you a commission if you should refer somebody. We will, we will pay you a thank you fee if you uh, refer somebody that pays for the program. But as you heard, Sasha, people won't do the program even for free. We already offer a free program, and we hardly can get anybody to do that. They just fuss at us. So uh, Fast Track will be free, and hopefully there will be some people that I'm just going to minister. Paul said I. You know, I want to, he wanted to minister and owe no one nothing but love. And that's what I want to do each week. We'll have a new group that starts each week on Monday. Um, Y'all will see later today. Let me show you what we're doing. Might as well get everybody accustomed to it. I'll be teaching fast track. Don't expect nothing crazy and new. Fast track, fast track. 
starting Monday, you'll go to the challenge tab and you'll see, you'll see fast track. See these challenges? You'll see fast track here. And there'll be a new group starting every week, except for those weeks that we need a break. We'll have fast track right here. People will join fast track and we'll take them through fast track. What will happen, mark my word, we'll take a group through it. And then the next week, that group, some of the ones in that group will go, is this the same thing again? Yep. Unless you want to become a partner. Unless you want to become a partner, it's the same thing again. Because it's the fundamentals and the basics. I just talked to at least 10 people, that's why I was late, that were upset about what I said this morning. And you know what every one of them told me? Every one of them that got me on the phone told me they were still confused about the food combinations. So you think that we don't need fast track? We need fast track. I appreciate all the kind comments. We just, it's going to be fun. We still going to have fun. We just know there's going to be some changes and some interruption in the schedule because we've got to figure a lot of stuff out. And um, yeah, we're not going to sell shots. Thought about it, not going to do it. That's another thing that we'll work on as we get the resources to do it. Everything on the website, we're going to move so that every person that signs up, they can only see Fast Track because they do try to jump the gun and take shortcuts, and it creates a lot of problems. And with reduced staffing, Sasha and I will have to streamline our support and we don't need people jumping around and doing the going moving past fast track when they haven't even learned fast track. We used to do that and we listened to people, people fussing. Their friend told them about recipes and whatever. And they uh we we started letting people move past fast track before they'd earned the fast track badge. And uh that that's been a support nightmare for our team. No, Lisa, I'm afraid. Lisa asked, can we quit advertising to join for free? It devalues the program. No, we can't. Um, we have to be a free program. Have to be. There's no way around it. There's no way around it. And I have, I appreciate everybody saying that for 10 years now. It has to be a free program. There's no way around that. I understand that people, if they were me, they would do this and that, but they're not me and they don't understand my vantage point. Um, we're going to owe nobody nothing for love, but love. You know, you know how much stress that I've lived with because it's not in my heart. And when people are disappointed and want their money back and I don't have it to give back and I'm just going to do it for free so that I owe no one nothing but love. And then when people want to become partners or they want to pay that lifetime membership, by then they know us. Do y'all understand what I'm saying? The expectations of people these days, unless you're doing what I'm doing, you cannot understand. It is a nightmare. We have never seen anything like it. We spend half of our energy listening to people fuss at us that paid $97. The people that don't fuss at us and are happy with the program, they know us, they seen value in it, and they became a partner. 
and they love us and, and they're forgiving and they're graceful and they know that we're not Jenny Craig and we don't have millions of dollars. And that's what we're going to do. People that want to truly be a part, I want to be able to run people off. <laughs> do you see what I'm saying? If somebody pays me, I can't run them off. It's, it, that's, that's not integrity. But if somebody's not paying me and I put up with their crap for a day or two, I can just say, go away. <laughs> Does that make sense? You don't have to agree with it, but I want to be able to fire people. I've lived enough time trying to, uh, y'all, you can't even imagine. I wouldn't believe you either if you was in my shoes. It's not devaluing the program. It's that the fast track system is going to be a way for me to determine if I want to work with this individual. Do I even want to fool this person? Good Lord. <laughs> you know? Yes, I have those thoughts. I'm sorry to let you down. Y'all thought we was all sweet and loved everybody, but some people, I need to love them from a distance. And I've got out of 45,000 active people, I've got about 44,000. I need to love them at a distance. If you're new here, I'm sorry. Make sure you come to Fast Track next week. If you're going to advertise it, advertise it for free so that we can all determine if this is somebody we want to work with. Do you understand? So the partner thing, you, we've got buffs coming, right? So think about this. The partners are going to have a lot of say so too, who we let in. We're going to be more of a weight loss club. We're going to determine who we want in. And you know how they how we determine if we want them in? Here's how we determine if we want people in. They earn their fast track badge and they didn't cause no problems. Don't you agree, Patty? They earned their fast track badge. They didn't cause no problems. Now they can get their white buff. <laughs> That's how we're going to do it. We're going to create a happy family, a happy, healthy family. It's going to take some time. The patient needs some surgery, and I'm getting the surgical tools out today. I do need you to pray for my team. They've been good to us. And there's going to be some real heartfelt, hard conversations. We love every one of them. They don't do this for the money. They do it because they love people. We may do that, Lisa, when we rebrand. Sasha's going to have to get her a good attorney. She's going to go through a tough time. She has a soft heart. And I've got to put on my man pants and help her through that. But we'll have to see. We'll have to be smart and be wise and figure out what the right way is. There's going to be little, if any, inter interruption in service. So please don't abandon us because we've got a heavy load upon us the next two months. We need your help and support. If we've helped you in any way, now we need you. That's right. Shirley Grant says, if they don't do fast track, tell them to go get a shot. That's what we're going to do in love. Now we'll be loving about it. We're going to lovingly tell them about what is it? Ozen Peck or something like that. Going to lovingly tell them about some peptides and a doctor down the street. And I'm going to go full on with the wellness company. People have been giving me a hard time about that. Telling me I sold out. You have no idea how I would want to. Do you have any idea if I wanted to sell out, I could sell out. And if anybody don't believe me, ask Lynn. 
I could sell so many shots up here in the crib, it would blow your mind. So we're going to go to preaching, and uh, I know there's going to be a lot of, lot of people that I say things to that I love that I haven't been able to say in the past. And I just want you to know, if you're a victim of tough love, it was because I loved you, not because I'm mad. Or, but a lot of people, they don't like to hear the truth. I don't like to hear the truth. I had to listen to it this morning. I don't like it. It hurts, but it'll set you free, won't it? Is all hearts and minds clear? Are y'all satisfied that Travis will be here Monday? Don't go anywhere yet. I'll be here Monday, but do look. I'll send out. Y'all need to be in, be in uh, if, you, if you're concerned. If you're not concerned, a lot of people wanted to see our demise. There's a lot of people that wanted to see us go away. Those of you that didn't want to see us go away, please keep a check on your email because that's the way I'll be communicating. And by the way, I'm sorry for that automated email that went out. I have to own up to that too. I didn't send it. That's another thing. I've been stretched so thin, I haven't even been able to check my own emails. Y'all know what I'm saying? And the emails have been going out. Even if they went to Judy, they've been saying to Sasha, I have been stretched so thin trying to survive that I haven't been able to even check my own emails. That's all going to change. And uh, keep an eye out because if you want to be in Fast Track, you're going to have to sign up for it each week that you want to be in it because that way we can better support you in, instead of being tagged all over the place. By the way, when I rewrite this thing and send it to you, understand that it will tell you how to get support moving forward because we're still going to be a support and care program, but support and care will have to be when I am here live. We are not going to have the manpower to return a thousand emails. We're just not going to have it. Do you understand? Doesn't mean there's not going to be care and support. That's why Sasha and I have been preparing to do these lessons together so that I can teach and she can support. So if you're not getting the support at 2 p.m., 2, 12 p.m., you might just have to wait to that evening class. Does that make sense? Right, Darla, right. Nobody's fault. It's not even the shot's fault. It's God's fault. <laughs> God orders everything. I hear him in my spirit now. It's my fault. This is my decision. Nothing happens without my allowing it. So God is going to get glory from this. Do we all believe that? God is going to get God's glory out of this. All things work to the good of those that love the Lord. And I think God looked on us, and then I'll close because I'm rambling. I think God looked on us and said, your suffering's over. I'm believing that. Your suffering's over, and you are not enabling people to be what they can be and it stops today. You're not leading people to Christ when you baby them and don't teach them of their need of me. And I believe God has spoken. And I just hope that he uses us as an example of how to rise up instead of using us as an example of how, how to be broken. It's up to God. The Bible says if you fall on the rock, you can be put back together, but if you let the rock fall on you, you'll be ground to powder. So I'm going to fall on the rock.
All right. Please let us know you love us because it is encouraging. It does help us, and we'll keep trying to let you know we love you too. Love y'all. We'll see you in the next session. I've got a 1230 with our partners today. We'll have a good topical lesson today for our partners, some amazing information. We won't talk about this <clears throat> unless they want to. I'll teach a lesson at 1230. Y'all keep a good lookout for a third shift job for me in St. Augustine or North Georgia. I may be headed back there. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how it goes. All right, y'all. And buy my book. That book may just <laughs> that book may just help us get back on our feet. Uh, you laugh instead of cry, right? All right. Bye, everybody.